effects of the US dollar. Because I said that the Messiah has to rule from Jerusalem, the false Messiah first, our eschatology tells us through a hadith of the Prophet والسلام, that there has to be a last ruling state to replace the United States. I wrote this book Jerusalem in the Quran some 12 years ago published here in Malaysia and in this book I said that the US dollar is going to collapse and the United States will no longer be the ruling state in the world 12 years ago and that Israel is going to replace the United States as the next ruling state in the world this was written 12 years ago it has remained a bestseller for the last 12 years Israel has to replace the United States when Britain was the ruling state there was one monetary system when the United States replaced Britain there was another monetary system and so when Israel replaces the United States you must have a new monetary system I gave you a hint this now the US dollar is going to collapse it has already collapsed actually it's about 1800 US dollars now for one ounce of gold yeah about 1800 if Israel attacks Iran that's it for the US dollar that's it when the US dollar collapses I believe what they will do is to demonetize it meaning it cannot be used as legal tender so you have to take your dollars to redeem it for the new money that the United States government will issue. Many countries have done that in the past. The new money, however, when you redeem your US dollars, you'll only get a fraction of the value. Black America will lose a lot of money, but that's peanuts to what white America is going to use. And the United States have guns. People are allowed to buy guns so the world can expect fireworks in the United States in the years to come this is not any original analysis on my part at all many people have come to that conclusion the US dollar is going to collapse they're going to demonetize it some new money is going to come to replace it and there's going to be fireworks in the United States when people are ripped off of their wealth the collapse of the US dollar will reverberate in the monetary system around the world and people who are holding weak weak currencies like the Pakistani rupee the Bangladeshi taka the Indonesian rupiah the Egyptian pound etc they're going to be in a state of panic when the US dollar collapses and they're going to want to dump their paper money as fast as they can because of runaway inflation and as they dump their paper the inflation is going to multiply and so the system will collapse like butter easily and make way for the new monetary system of only invisible and intangible electronic money and that's why I ask you, please put away your blackberries and so on. Because once, once money is only electronic money, your money is not safe in any bank. Can you take your money out of the bank? Huh? No, you cannot. <laughs> you can't take your money out of the bank. Because there's nothing to take out it's only electronic impulses all that you can do is transfer money from one account to another and sometimes instead of you transferring your money from your account to another account somebody who is a uh, a wizard <laughs> with computers can hack into your computer and get your password huh? get your password and then go into your bank and have your bank account and you have a feast of chicken and <laughs> duck and 
<laughs> he cleaned it out. That's coming. I think you probably already have examples of that, but the banking system is keeping it secret. They don't want it to be known. So the new monetary system of only electronic money is very vulnerable. And thieves can steal your money without you having any knowledge of it. And when your money is stolen, after a certain time, the banks are going to say, enough is enough, we're not going to replace it. I don't think they're going to come after you if you only have 10,000 ringgits in your account. But if you are a specialist doctor, <laughs> you better be careful. You better be careful. Our next speaker is probably going to be able to help you when you are faced with this predicament. What should I do if I have all my money in a bank account? First of all, take it out. Don't leave it there. It's safer, actually, in your own hands than in the bank. If you think it's safe over there, wait and see what's coming. But before I end, there's something more to be said. <laughs>